Okay, I am at the new Quarry Trails Metro Park. We take a walk through the park. Check out the new trails. It's still under construction, so it's not fully open yet. And they're also even construction under the residential condos and stuff over there. Not sure what they're gonna do over there. If that could be part of the park or if that could be more condos. But we're gonna take a walk down through here. Parking is crazy. A lot of people are here. I was lucky just to come in as one person was leaving. <laughs> so I snatched their parking spot. You got the rangers up there basically directing traffic. Here's a small spot for a little car. This is my second time here. The first time here, I didn't walk the whole park because I didn't realize I'm missing parts. So we're gonna do it all today. Yeah, I don't really like getting people on my videos, but that's not gonna happen today. There's just too many people here. But as I was saying, I was here before, but I didn't walk the whole trail, the whole park. Missed some of it, plus it was getting dark. The first thing we're going to hit is the waterfall, which is a really cool waterfall. It's about the size of the ones at Hayden Run, if you've seen that one. It's called, I believe, Millican Falls. And I don't know, last time I hear people asking, where's the other waterfall? It says lower fall access, upper fall. There is only one fall here, people, not two. Okay, we will go down there. These are some beautiful falls. I actually think these will look nicer than Hayden Run. And they might actually be a little bit bigger. All right, now we're gonna go down to the bottom. I think they built some rock steps here. They're not that wide. I mean, two people can pass, but they're pretty much one, one lane. Okay, we're gonna go down a little bit further, but I'm gonna stop here. I still think these might be a little taller than Hayden Run. You gotta watch though, these are rocks and some of the steps are pretty big. Right, look at that step. That's about 18 inch step right there. That's the bridge we were just on.
That up there is the observation deck we were just down. Don't drop your phone if you're taking pictures up there. <laughs> if you do, that's where you find it. Alright. There's the park down there. This is where the stream for the falls is coming out and draining into the quarry. Right here. Not look too bad down there, not like it was the other day. There's a lot more people down there. I think most people come and look at the falls. Falls over there. Okay, now we are on the trail. Asphalt. To the left, it takes you back, it takes you down to the quarries. This little sign here. Lake area to the left. Um, straight ahead, uh, trade view exit, and back where we just come from, Milliken Falls. Can't say for sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But that way I'll take you down towards the quarries, and I'll actually show you where that goes when we are down there. This here, I think part of it is still under construction. But it loops around and it crosses over to the other side of the quarry. And then starts heading north again. It says one mile round trip. <clears throat> Might be about that. Little seating area, overlook area. You're gonna find out one thing, this, this park has a lot of these little, and they got a lot of rocks. So they got a lot of spots where you can sit. That trail there, it goes back around over to there. I'm not gonna bother messing with it today, probably. And it actually comes up and around and it actually joins into this trail here that we're on right now. It goes parallel with this trail, just at the bottom. That's all, no difference. This park is on Dublin Road, which is that road up there. At the corner of Dublin and Treview. I keep trying to get by this guy with this dog, and he just keeps playing around. So, he's going to be in my videos, even though I don't want him in it. Um, but like I say, this park is at the corner of Trade View and Dublin Road. The entrance is on Dublin Road. There's another entrance further up. I'm not sure exactly where that's at. I haven't been to that entrance yet. But I think this is going to be a pretty nice park. Um, they have mountain bike trails. Not sure if they're uh, done yet. Um, they're going to have kayaking and canoeing. 
I heard scuba diving, but I don't know. That may just be a rumor. I do not know how deep that quarry is. There's a few different lakes in here though. It's, it's dotted with lakes, ponds, whatever you want to call them. I was going to come down here earlier this morning before it started getting crowded and that's probably what I should have done. But like I said earlier, it looks like the majority of people are around the waterfalls. This goes down and it crosses over um, an outlet stream to the quarries and then we're going to go back to the left over there on the other side heading that way where all the people are at and we're going to continue going they have some floating docks they have some floating walkways boardwalks whatever you want to call them which are pretty cool and they even have a few benches on it where you can sit out there on the floating docks Here's another little observation area. There's a better look of the main part of the park. trail down there again it's gonna merge in oh it actually merges in right there if you took this to the left like I say it's just gonna run parallel to the one we were just we're on right now it's just at the bottom and I'll show you later where this trail is gonna come back out I don't know if we're gonna walk it or not we'll see You know, I wonder what the prices of these condos are going to go for. If you got, on this side, you got a nice view of the quarry. If you're facing the other side, you're going to have a nice view of the Scioto River. But it's, I'm not in the apartments or condos because I like having my yard, I like having privacy. But it's pretty cool, I guess, come out your front door and you're in a park. <laughs> you know, you got places to walk. So I guess that's an advantage. And this trail's going to go where you see that guy crossing over to the left. And then, like I said, we're going to go back up that side. But I'm going to show you something before we cross over. Now that over there is Treeview. And it looks like this trail is eventually going to go up this way. I'm not sure where it's going to go to, if it's going to loop all the way around, come back up the other side between these apartments and the river, and join in over there somewhere. I don't know. But, not really getting a good view of it. There is an old train trestle up here on the other side of this backhoe. You can't really see it because the backhoe is in the way. I heard they want to connect the Scioto Trail where it ends down on 5th Avenue and Dublin Road and bring it up here. When or if that will ever happen, I don't know. I see some people walking through here.
I'll try to get a picture of this bridge here. I'm not going to go down there, but you can see the bridge right there. If you were to cross over that and walk through an apartment complex over there, you're going to come out the corner of Dublin, Treview, and where Dublin Road actually turns into Riverside Drive, I believe it is. But if you look at the cover photo on my YouTube channel, that picture on my cover photo is that truss, that bridge right there. Okay, we're gonna cross over. Quarry drains down through here. Take you on down to the uh, Scioto River. You can see right here too, we're gonna go left. But it looks like they got a little piece there to the right. If they're gonna do something with it. Seeing those boulders there in the water doesn't mean the water's shallow. <laughs> there could be some good sized boulders in there. This place is just nothing but rock. I mean, it's a quarry, a little quarry. So, those rocks in the middle there don't mean it's shallow. Could be a 40 foot, so 40 foot size uh, boulder sitting in. 35 feet of water. Another plan for a trail going up that way, which just a little seating area, I mean a little flat area up there. I don't know if they're gonna take it all the way up that hill to the apartment or if this is just gonna go to that flat area and there's gonna be something up there. Maybe a little picnic area, I don't know. All right, now we are on the other side. We were over on that hill earlier. Sort of curious what this is going to look like when it's all done. That bridge up there is going to take you back up to where we started at. And it's also going to take you to that trail that I said that we saw along the bottom of the ridge. We're not going to do that right at the moment. Here's a little floating dock. Definitely no shortage of rocks here. I don't know what they're going to do with this right here. That they got going, tapering off into the water. See it going up there? Maybe it might be a area to uh, drop your canoes and kayaks in the water. We're not going to go down that way because that just loops around. You see those people over there? It just loops around and comes back right where they're at and brings us right back over here. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's just a loop. So we're not going to do with that. We're going to try to get past all these people and keep on going. 
Looks like there might be another drop area right here for your canoes. But you cannot get from here over to there by water. And I'll show you later what I mean. And this looks like it's going to be a future parking lot. Not sure where the entrance is going to be at. showing you coming down that way it goes over there looks like they're fixing something to go up the hill over there I mean they got the dirt all leveled out smoothed out like there could be something there maybe a trail going up that bridge up there is a the bridge we were just on that you can see the waterfall from all right that way there and this way merged together. We're gonna to go this way. They're building some type of little recreation area here, a little athletic area to work out here, which is pretty cool. Looks like um, some cables there. They don't go very far, but looks pretty cool area probably mostly for the kids and the adults that are still young at heart <laughs> and then another little climbing area over here I don't know if they're gonna put anything else in here or not just these got a little area right there I don't know if that's gonna be a seating area or something's gonna go there too But a little area for the kids to play around on. And you see that's where I showed you up there that merges back down. See they're just walking back down the steps. That over there is the floating boardwalk. It's really cool. It's got benches out there you can sit. Um, it goes up around. That big pile of rocks over there. <laughs> Again, no shortage of rocks. I'll come back on when we get ready to go on. Okay. If you need any rocks. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to head out on to the, the floating boardwalk. bench right there where you can sit there in a minute. That's just a dead end.
another seating area over here. With some benches. Sit here and watch out over there. I'm up this hill, but I'm going to turn the camera off. I don't get all these people. All right, somebody just asked me where the waterfall's at. <laughs> I don't know most people are here to see his waterfall. Now, if we go up this hill here, it goes to more trails. That's what I did not do last time, so that's going to be all new. We're going to go to the left here first, which is a dead end. All right. Now, this way is a dead end, and it's this is what is going to be they're not planning on extending it it just comes up to here and that's it i imagine i'll probably pave it eventually but it's just what you see a big open area with some rocks i don't know if they're going to put anything in here Again, it's just sort of a guessing game for now. But I do know for a fact this is not going to extend any further because I asked a ranger the other day when I was down here if this is going to extend further up along the side and she told me no. That's the uh, floating boardwalk we were just on and the big pile of rocks. <laughs> And this is basically it. it. Goes no further. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna continue up that hill up there and go to another section of the park. That is gonna be all new to me. I did not do that the other night when I was down here because it was just getting late. And I didn't realize that I actually went to more trails until I actually looked at the map. I thought that was just an exit to a street, maybe a parking area, but it does go to more trails, so don't forget to go up there, don't do the same mistake I made. Okay, we just come up this hill. like it leads for construction down there to the condos. It looks like that's the way to continue on the trails. Okay. Now we're over here in this section. You go to the left this is just a loop but this loop also connects to the mountain bike trails and i think there's a parking lot over there too so you don't have to park and start where i did to get to here there's a parking lot over here somewhere
But if you went to the left, went to the right or straight, like I'm doing, it doesn't matter. It's just a big loop. And then in the middle of the loop, there's like a connector, which she says is just a mode path. And I'm told there's an old cemetery back here from the 1800s of the family that started this quarry. So I'm gonna try not to miss that. She told me where, where it's at, so we shouldn't have a problem finding it. I imagine in time, I don't know if this will be paved or if this will be gravel like some of the back trails at uh, Metro Parks. I doubt it's gonna say mud, otherwise it'll be a muddy mess during rain. Like this. I actually like this over here better than I did the first part. I used to come back here on these trails before any of this ever started. And I used to come back here and run the trails back in here. It has, since this development, it has changed a lot. I mean, they <laughs> manipulated things around and it doesn't look anything like what it used to. Now back in here, over towards Fishinger, there's a wall. It's got some little, I don't want to say caverns because you really can't get into them. But there is one that you climb up about 10 feet. You can get back in about 6 feet, which is cool. But I think that is owned by the city, not the Metro Parks. So it will not be part of this park system. But I wish it was because they were pretty cool. I think I have a video of it. And if I do, I'll put that in the link below. So you can see them. I'm just coming up from this trail here. I wanted to see what was up here. That's pretty cool. All right, we come from that way. And if you see that, don't go that way because that's, I think that's part of the old trails that were in here before they even did anything. You want to continue on this. Stay on the, uh, stay on the, um, the trail that looks like they've been doing some construction to it. Don't go off into the grassy area. <clears throat>
All right, when you come to this, when you're coming up this way, or whichever way you're walking on this trail, and you come to this section here, that's not the trail. I think that is a perimeter road for the active quarry, which is over there. If you want to continue on this way, you're coming through here, and you continue to go around that way, or the opposite. I wonder if this fills with water in the spring. There is the active quarry again. You know, I'm following this around, but I'm not convinced we are on a park trail. I see a lot of footprints here. But I did not see any other trails going off that I may have missed. I'm not convinced this is part of the trail. And it looks like it's taking us up to the main quarry trailers. Some people up here walking. I'll go up here and we'll see what's going on. Should have worn my boots today. <laughs> Where are all those people going that direction? Uh, I wonder. There's Metro Park truck. I wonder if that trail that I went off to along the side that I told you was probably a uh, perimeter road. I wonder if that's where it were to come out at if I would have followed all the way around right to there. Could be. Could be. Oh well, 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 this is part of the park, so that must have been 
if we would have followed that all the way around that perimeter trail and it would have brought us out right here so this one must have been the section through the middle then that you see on the map that must have been that one there's like people parking Okay, so we were in the right area, and that one trail went off that we were following the fence. If we would have continued following that, it would have brought us up there. So we were all right. We could have just continued following it. So now we're going to go up here, and look for the cemetery. I hope there's not a lot of people, because a lot of people just went into this trail. So we may have to wait for them to move on. We are at the cemetery now. And I found one stone that I found really interesting. Check it out. Do you see it? WTF it looks like. I'm not sure that is an F. If that is an F, it's interesting. WTF. Most of the stones, or all the stones, are pretty much really not even cared for. A lot of them are laying down. Now, I was told that this is the family cemetery from the 1800s of the people who started this quarry. Eighteen forty. Here's one that looks like eighteen forty nine. This one here is so worn you can't even see anything on it. This one here is 1849, 1850, I don't see anything on that one. Eighteen forty, eighteen fifty six, must be a couple here, John and Judea. Jenkins. So, are they the people that started this quarry? Jenkins? Interesting. We should be coming back out where we started all this at here in a few minutes. Back out to it. I didn't bother going over to the mountain bike trail. Um, so that was probably back somewhere where I come out to where all the action was going the rangers were at and everything 
That's probably back in there somewhere. But here, we're going to go to the right. That's right there. It's back where we started going to the left, remember? We come in there. We went that way. You remember? And then now we're coming back on this way. So now we're going to walk back down into the main part of the park and go back up and head on out. So we didn't really hike all the trails back in there, but we got the gist of it. Okay, I did want to mention something. I asked the ranger how deep these are, what the average depth is. This one here where the boardwalk's at, she said that it's only like about eight to 10 feet deep here. And the other one's further over, she said only like around 20 feet deep. And so they're not as deep as I thought. I thought they may be like 60, 80 feet deep, but she says, no, average depth is about 20 feet, but this one here is only about 8 feet. Okay, there's that ramp again. I asked the ranger why they build those, since it's basically just limited to kayaks and canoes. She said the, they're just basically for uh, emergency if they have to get into the water, rescue somebody, they'll drop an actual boat in. But like I said, you cannot get from here over to there by water. And I'll show you why when we cross this bridge up here. And this bridge, we could walk all the way back down around like we come in to get back to the other side where we're parked at. Or you can take this bridge here. And it'll take us back to the other side. Or we can climb the hill back to the parking lot. If they drop a canoe or whatever in, you can access the water over here. You're really not going to get through any of this. Let's pick it up and walk it. And I gotta get through that spot right there. <laughs> Again, unless you pick it up, walk it over it. Now we're gonna go back up the hill. That trail there is the one I told you about earlier that we saw at the bottom of the ravine, uh, hill, the ravine, when we're coming in. Looking down over the edge and seeing a trail down the bottom. That's this one and it will merge back into the trail we were on in the beginning. This is just going to take us right back up where we started at. Then we're back up here to the top. Remember we came in from that way? Remember that sign? And that's the way we went in the start. <laughs> this is where we come in at.
this is the bridge with the waterfall. So, this is Quarry Trails Metro Park at the corner on Dublin Road, at the corner of Dublin Road and Treeview. It is our 20th Metro Park, partially open. They're still in, under construction, so be patient. But it looks like it's going to be a really nice park. I'll definitely visit it often.